Hey everybody, welcome back and welcome to episode 7 of our trailer installation series. We're going to get things wrapped up on this trailer today by installing some traction on the interior of the trailer. Today we're going to be installing tracks mats. We talked about those a little bit in episode 4 when we were talking about the tracks grabber. So let's get this thing back on the road, get the installation started. All right guys, like we said, we're going to be talking about our tracks mat here today. We're also going to recap some things that we talked about in episode four when we installed our track scrabbers here on the doors. For the tracks mat, it's primarily recommended for inside the enclosed trailer and it's also recommended for studded and pre-studded applications. The tracks mat is offered in two different lengths, a 54 inch and a 72 inch option. Both of those come in at 18 inches wide. And they also feature our patented design, which increases airflow and increases moisture wicking so you don't deal with premature deck rot and deterioration on the inside of the trailer. All right, so if we go back a couple episodes to the low pro glides, we were talking about consistent height coverage over the deck of the trailer. Uh, that's where the tracks mat comes in handy. Both the tracks mat and the low pro glide, if you're using the trailer for specific snowmobile use, they're both 3 eighths of an inch tall. So you get a nice consistent height profile across the deck of the trailer, which comes in handy if you're gonna use the trailer for anything else like moving, storage, uh, different utility vehicles, anything like that. All right, so now that we went over some features and benefits of the tracks mat here, let's get this stuff taken out of the box. Get it on the floor. We'll go over some recommendations and tips on how to get this product installed. All right, so the first recommendation we have for you guys here when it comes to installing tracks mat is make, making sure that you get those things out of the package, allowing them to expand and allow them to relax. So one thing we did is when we got them out of the package, we set them in the sun for a little bit, allow them to warm up because we're gonna have to stretch and pull these things tight once we get them fastened down to the deck of the trailer. All right, if you remember from episode five, when we installed our low pro glides, we did a little bit of a taper at the back of the trailer and the front of the trailer. So one thing we've done so far is get a rough layout on our track spans. We haven't installed anything, haven't gotten anything fastened down. Uh, what we're gonna do is go over how we're gonna cut these once we got them in place. All right, so we've made a couple of measurements on the track mat. We've also allowed for a little bit of room for expansion contraction between the low pro glide and the tracks mat. Today we're gonna to be cutting the tracks mat using utility knife. Uh, it's pretty simple, easy to use, make a couple of scores with a nice straight edge and you'll cut right through the mat. Uh, if you have something on your trailer like full length tie downs and you need to cut the mat lengthwise, an easy and effective tool to be able to do that is by using a table saw. Uh, generally when you do that, we recommend you put the top side down, bottom side up, allows it to feed through the table saw a little bit easier and allows you to make those full length cuts if need be. All right, so now that we have both the tracks mats at the back cut to fit the taper of the low pro glides, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start getting these secured. We're gonna put fasteners on both sides of this tracks mat, three quarters of an inch in from each corner, and then we're gonna pull it tight on the other side and get the other side fastened down and keep moving through the trailer. All right, so one thing I did forget to mention is when you are installing your tracks mats, it is a softer material, so make sure that you don't drill the screw all the way through the material when you're fastening them down. We got these two set, and we're gonna keep going. All right, so we have our first four tracks mats installed and fastened to the deck of the trailer. We got a couple more pieces we got to put into the V section of the trailer. So we're going to go ahead, get those things roughed in, get some measurements, get them cut, and then get them fastened down. And we're just about ready to get this thing back on the road. All right, so we just put the final fasteners into the last component of our trailer installation. So that concludes the tracks mat, episode seven, and our trailer installation series. For more information about all the products that we've installed throughout this series, make sure you check out our website at www.caliberproductsinc.com. And to easily determine your product needs, make sure you check out our custom trailer configurator at www.caliberproductsinc.com forward slash configurator. And make sure you follow us on our social channels at Caliber Products on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Always remember, stay safe out there and get your ride on. Right